dozens of farm workers were pulled out of the fields last week after they were poisoned by a chemical that was recently approved by President Donald Trump's administration, even though the previous administration had taken steps to ban it. KTEG reported that at least 50 farm workers were exposed to the pesticide on Friday, causing cabbage harvesting operations to be shut down at Dan Andrews Farms. We started getting an odor, pesticide odor, coming in from the mandarin orchards west of our field, Dan Andrews supervisor Elfrin Zavasa told the station. Zavalsa explained that Vulcan pesticide, which contains a poison called chlorophyros, was sprayed on the orchards the night before workers came to work the cabbage fields. I'm not pointing fingers or saying that it was done incorrectly. It was just an unfortunate thing the way it was drifted. The wind came and pushed everything east, and you know, we were caught in the path, he observed. KTEG confirmed that 12 people reported symptoms of vomiting, nausea, and one person fainted. The station also noted that more than half of the 50 workers left the scene before medical services arrived. According to Mother Jones, the Obama administration had taken steps to effectively ban the use of this pesticide, but that changed after Trump appointed Scott Pruitt to lead the EPA. By reversing the previous administration's steps to ban one of the most widely used pesticides in the world, we are returning to using sound science in decision making rather than predetermined results, the agency said in a statement in March. Experts say that children who have been exposed to the chemical can experience brain damage and a lower IQ. The National Institutes of Health concluded that this pesticide can cause adverse de developmental, reproductive, neurological, and immune effects.